Hola, can we have two <laughs> seats? And I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> Why are you talking like that? I'm sorry, what, who, who are you? What are you doing in my house? Uh... Surprise! <laughs> You are such a drama queen. I'm mad. I won't. <laughs> no! You get away. No! Um, the inspiration from the movie actually came from Mark, who was taking Spanish uh, lessons online um, from a school that was, uh, you can tell this, Mark, in, in Guatemala. Yeah, it was an institute in Guatemala. And uh, I found that the connection I was making with the teacher was interesting, that, that you know, when you only are so good at a language, you're not good at small talk. So our, our connection went deeper more quickly. Um, and I thought, wow, that, that would be an interesting time to tell a story how 2D video chat uh, fostered connection instead of hindered it. So I called Natalie immediately and asked her if she spoke Spanish. And um, I said, do you want to make a movie like this? Uh, you know, we can do it during lockdown. We won't get sick. You shoot in your house. I shoot in my house. And and she said, great. What, what's the story? You know, and I said, well, uh, we'll have to figure that out. I don't have anything else. So. <laughs> I'm your Spanish teacher. So I have to speak Spanish for one day. Well, I actually bought the, uh, the the 100 lesson package. Will, did you buy me 100 Spanish lessons? Yeah. Why? Because you wanted to learn Spanish, dummy. Oh. Uh, sí, yo he uh, estudiado español en, uh, en escuela secundario y uh, colegio, y, pero um, yo tenía que practicar uh, antes de filmar uh, porque Adam... Adam puede hablar español un poquito mejor que yo puedo hablar español, sí. Um, but at the same time, we like this idea that uh, Adam would make mistakes. Um, and some of them would be uh, cute and funny. Some of them would cause miscommunications and problems. Um, and so my Spanish not being perfect was was perfect for that. Um, and I really enjoyed the challenge of communicating and acting in a a language that was not my first. I, it made me feel a little vulnerable. It made me work harder. Um, and and it made me, um, I guess, uh, it made me communicate things in a very simple way because I didn't have that many words. So uh, when I wanted to say something, I, I had to distill it down to the core essence of what it was. Yeah, for me, it fue muy emocionante poder hablar español en una película porque in realidad, nunca lo he hecho. I've spoken a little bit of Spanish kind of as a joke in some things, uh, you know, and and um, and I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean, like, you know, it's so I, I, my character says some funny thing in Spanish and, and you know, all the white people laugh. Right. And uh, <laughs> and and I, and I think it's fine. I, I just had never gotten the opportunity to do something that is in my first language and and um, and it's very special to me. Uh, most of the movie is in Spanish. And um, and I think that, you know, I don't know, I think it's it's hard being in the United States and being in, in Hollywood to do something that is has is in Spanish and not feel like it's going to pigeonhole you into like you. It's only a Latino movie. It's a movie. It's a movie for everybody to enjoy. And and I think that Somehow we got away with that, I think, yeah. maybe. Um, and I'm glad for it because that, that's kind of what I, it, it's, a, it's called language lessons because it's universal. It's, 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 like, it's learning two different languages. And, and I'm so glad that I you know, made a movie that a lot of my family that doesn't speak English can understand without you know, having to listen to somebody else dub my voice. Um, and uh, it's, it's very, very, muy emocionante para mí. Oh. Buenos dias, Adam. Yo no sé tu nombre. Oh, todo el mundo me dice cariño. Como in, in Dirty Dancing, how everybody just calls baby, baby. Ah. Yeah, that's that's a good question. So a lot of the scenes, especially towards the beginning, were mostly fully scripted, but we we did want to improvise as much as possible to, to um, just keep it conversational and keep it feeling as real as possible. And I think Mark and I both like to improvise. I think it makes certain scenes better um, and feel more realistic when you when you are afforded the opportunity to do that. Um, so yeah, a lot of it was improvised, especially the more fun scenes and like Cariño in her backyard. That was very, that that we came up with 
the outline for that like two hours before we shot it. We didn't even know what that scene was going to be. And then we we were like, okay, these are the things that need to happen. These are the topics we want to hit. This is a, these are the things we want to make sure we mention, but everything else is just, let's see what happens. And that was really fun to do. Adam. Yes? Adam. Yes? Stop calling me so late, so unprofessional. <laughs> Um, but, but yes, I, I specifically living in both worlds and I'm sure maybe Mark has experiences too, where people don't think I speak Spanish or don't think I speak English and are talking about me around me. And I, and I'm like, yo hablo español or, or, or vice versa. You know, I'd be like, I speak English. I, I, it's, I, you know, I think growing up in Miami where everybody, everybody is not only Latino, but Cuban, like for the majority, everybody is like me. I, I didn't grow up feeling like a minority. I imagine it's the same growing up in Mexico or growing up somewhere else where you you're you are the majority. And so coming out to LA, it was very it was a real reality check when like I, you know, I was a, a hostess at a bar at a Mexican bar and someone was like, Hola, can we have two <laughs> seats? And I was like, what are you doing? Why are you talking like that? Uh, you know, it's it, you don't realize what you look like to some people until you get out of those spaces. So for sure. Yeah, I'm sure Mark has understood Spanish that some people have said. Yeah, I mean, I've and I've also it's gone the other way for me, too, where I um I remember I was somewhere with my brother, Jay, um, and I was trying to introduce him and I was introducing him as Jota because um, I was just like the letter J. Um, and they explained to me that I probably shouldn't do that. Um, <laughs> so, you know, I've had lots of lots of versions of that. <laughs>